Hello, this is my first, wait, no, okay. Hello, this is my first Halo Reach video ever. Extreme Gamer 5000 has landed in Reach. And this is a new, this is Halo Reach Forge. Alright, let me just introduce this to you. Uh, yeah, this, this is something I'm going to be doing in my next video. It's pretty cool, it's called the Mongoose Launcher. Alright, uh... Welcome to Forge World. This is kind of what I wanted to show you guys in this video. Um, this little building here is called the Coliseum, also, aka also known as the Laboratory. Up here is called the Quarry. I think that's a quarry. Well, it says it at the bottom, you can't really see it. Ah, did you see when it said return to battlefield? If I go out of Forge World, it says that. And if I don't get back in time, well, then the game kills me. Right now, I am on the coastline. Basically, if you're above water, you're at the coastline. And this is um, the pillar, a.k.a. the rock, some people call it. And this is the island, this big massive land here is called the island and there's a little cave here I don't know what that's called but we are going to find out oh it's not really called anything it's just part of the island uh, and then let's see, go off the island we are in the coastline and there's another little cave here and welcome to the canyon this is the canyon Oh, and actually, if you go on top of here, there, it's called Montana. Montana. It's pretty awesome. If, uh, do any of you guys recognize this landform? If you've played Halo 3 ODST, it is Blood Gulch. Well, it's kind of like Blood Gulch, except it doesn't have any of the buildings on it or anything. And now, it's actually, in Forge World, called, um, the canyon, and as a map, it's called Hemorrhage. So, yeah. Hemorrhage. Not Blood Gulch anymore. So, we're flying over Montana here. Right. And, uh, that's Forge World. We got some things down here. And now I'm going to show you some of the items you could put down. Alright. Okay, we're going to go to category through category. Here's Weapons Human. You can do things like the Assault Rifle, DMR, Grenade Launcher. Grenade Launcher's new. That, that's pretty awesome. The Magnum, Rocket Launcher, Shotgun, Sniper Rifle, Spot and Laser, Frag Grenade. And the Mountain Machine Gun, in case you're wondering what that is. It's basically just a turret. It's kind of like the new turret. They don't really have um, the Machine Gun turrets anymore. Now they have, like, Vulcan turrets. Alright, and this is Weapons Covenant. We got the new concussion rifle. We got energy sword, fuel light gun, gravity hammer. Focus rifle is awesome. It's like a sniper except it shoots a beam. Like it zooms in twice like a sniper. Needle rifle, kind of like the DMR. Needler. Plasma launcher, that's new. It's like the grenade launcher except it shoots plasma grenades. Uh, there's plasma pistol, plasma repeater. That's also new. It's kind of like the assault rifle. Uh, ooh, Spiker, Plasma Grenade, and Plasma Turret. As, you know, you know what a Plasma Turret is. It's really not new. Um, that's it. And now we go over to the all-new Armor Abilities. And there's Active Camo, Armor Lock, Drop Shield, which is Bubble Shield, Evade, Hologram, which makes a duplicate of yourself, which is awesome, Jetpack, which is the best thing ever, Sprint, and that's it. My personal favorite out of those is probably Armor Lock, because, you know, it gives you invincibility. It could really help you, you know, last longer. Even though Jetpack is pretty awesome. Alright, then we go to, uh, there we go, Gadgets. There are lots of things in Gadgets to check out. Let's see, we got Explosives, Fusion Coil, which are now green. We got Landmines, which are, like, totally awesome. We got Plasma Battery, nothing new, and Propane Tank, which looks very, very different. 
Alright, and these are health stations. Because as you know, there is now health in Halo Reach. Kind of like Halo 1, if you've ever played that. I haven't, but, you know. I kind of know. Well, I have once, but I didn't like it. Alright, see, so we got active camos and stuff. I'm telling you, you will not want to use um, these in your maps. Because they're totally worthless when you're making a forge map in Halo Reach. Alright, let's see. We got man cannons. All new man cannons. We got, you know, man cannon. Man cannon heavy, which is like a super man cannon. And we got man cannon light, which is like a weak one. Then we got the all new, amazing. Wait, wait. We got gravity lift here. As you can see, it is very much different. And we got the all new and very exciting vehicle man cannon. Now, if you go on it when you are a human, which I am now about to do, it shoots you up so far. Alright, let's see how high I'm going to go. Woo! Now, that is pretty awesome. Alright. I'm going to make many, many view, um, videos today, so. Alright, let's see. We got one-way shield, which is awesome. One-way shield doesn't mean it only blocks it at one side. It means you can only go through it at one side. You can go through the blue side, but you can't go through the orange side. Oh, and uh, here's a tip about them. See? Like, um, four is the biggest one. It's like a trampoline. Whoa. Alright. So you can see it. If you go on top of it, like this, you're like on a trampoline. It bounces you up and down. It's pretty pretty awesome. Then we got special effects, which I do on all my maps, because they are awesome. We, you can make it black and white, next gen, juicy, which is my favorite, because it looks, it looks very interesting. Like, very cartoon-like, I guess. It makes it look very unrealistic. Nova, which is bright, and you can't see anything, so. Old-timey, which makes it look like an old film, which is one of my personal favorites. Pen and ink, which you can't see anything, but it's like black and white, kind of. Purple, makes it look like nighttime. And, uh, we have green. You can do it for a map where, like, you know, there's supposed to be in a forest or something, and a very less known one called Orange, which, well, makes it look like, you know, the sun is about to set. It's pretty awesome, even though, you know, you can really, you can't really, you know, tell the sun is setting. Never mind. Alright, now we're going to Shield Door, which, um, as you know, it blocks projectiles, but, uh, and you can go through both sides. You know, Shield Door Lodge, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, teleporters, which look much, much, much different. We got toys, which are my favorite things. All right, we got dice. All right, all right, let's play a little game here. What do you think it's going to land on? I throw it. I think it's going to land on one, and it was five. Not even close. All right, no. All right, all right, okay, let's keep doing toys. We got golf ball. We got the amazing golf club that you can actually pick up and use as a weapon. It is pretty cool. We got Kill Ball, in case you've ever played Halo 3 ODST. Kill Balls are back. Yay. We got Soccer Ball. We got Tin Cup. Okay. Okay, check this out. It is, it is like magnetic. It's rigged. Look at it. Yeah. Like, because there's a slope right here, it should be going to the left. But instead, it's magnetic. Bungie doesn't want people to feel bad because they didn't make it in the hole. We don't care. I want it to be hard. Oh, we got a red light here. Oh, we got a bunch of lights. Blue, green, you know, pretty much any color. We got white. And we also got two flashing ones. We got um, red flashing and yellow flashing. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's it for gadgets. Now we go to spawning. We got initial spawn, which is right when you start the game instead of when you die. As you can see, there's a button. There's for spawn point, which is like in Halo 3. You know, any other forged type thing. We got initial loadout camera. You know how, it, well, in Halo each it kind of like shows the map you're playing in, like a little glimpse of it before you actually play it. That's what that does. You could set up a camera and it, you know, you know what I mean. The spawn zone, I don't know what that does. I have absolutely no idea. I'm guessing it means that anyone could respawn anywhere in that place. But, you know, I'm guess I'm guess I'm guessing respawn zone anti is nobody can respond to that place no matter what. 
We got safe area boundaries, which I do not know what that is. And kill area boundaries, have no idea what either of those are. Alright, then we go to objectives. We could put the flag stands. Yeah, you got the, like, for, like, capture the flag. You can put the flag stands for, like, territories and stuff. We got capture plate, which I have no idea what that is. Probably has something to do with capture the flag. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's probably, yeah, it has to do with capture the flag, I bet. And we got hill marker for king of the hill. Then we go to scenery. We, can, we got, you know, the old barrier, barricades. Although we got the new... Here's the bit, the old one. And then we got a new barricade small. Then we got covenant, covenant barriers, which aren't very new at all. And then we got portable shield, which is obviously covenant. Um, let's see, we got camping stool, not new. Nothing really new here, except the new crates. The new crates look very different. Then we got, you know, we got a lot of crates. Then we got the covenant crate. And Covenant Crate half open. Uh, sandbags. We got, you know, the old sandbag walls. Except we got a new one called Sandbag Turret Wall. There's a little, like, there's a little space at the top where the turret, you know, kind of goes, I guess. Kind of like that. Something like that. We got a bunch of awesome things. Old street cones are back. Hey, buddy, what's up, street cones? And here is, like, the new thing in Forge. It's called... Structure, we got building blocks, a bunch of blocks. Oh, I didn't know that one before. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, then we got bridges and platforms. We can do bridge, extra large, and it floats in midair. Of course it does, because pretty much everything does that. We got, you know, we got platforms. We got landing pads for, like, banshees and stuff. We got tons of stuff here. We got buildings. Look, we can make a pyramid. A three a three story tower. We got tons of stuff in here, man. It's awesome. Triple room. It's pretty awesome. Then we got, you know, some, you know, decorative stuff like a satellite. Antenna satellite. Oh no, no. Like antenna small. We got brace. Brace lodge. Then we got brace tunnel. Things like that. Column is just a stick, which I don't get at all. You know, we got a glass cover. Yeah, I'm not really, not an awesome, okay, now this is pretty cool, it's called teleporter for frame. You put a teleporter inside there, it just makes it look pretty cool, you know what I mean? Alright, then we got, no, large walkway cover, which covers a large walkway, obviously, and strut, which is this thing, random thing, doors, windows, walls, inclines, which is, you know, banks, and ramps, then we got natural, where there are tons of rocks, from super big to super peewee. And uh, then we got grids, which are awesome. Grids can be used for many things. Um, you can walk on them, just so you know. You can. And uh, you can also use them to walk on water. You kind of put them, like, just under the currents. And then it looks like you're walking on water. Like, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty, very simple, very simple stuff. Oh, I did not do vehicles. Banshee, like usual. Falcon, which is very new to the world of Halo. Ghost, Mongoose, and introducing another new vehicle, the Revenant. Da, 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 da. It's kind of like a ghost slash wraith. Um, if you want to pick between a wraith and a Revenant, I would probably actually pick Wraith just because it has a lot more power. The Revenant may be faster and, and you know, but, you know, the, it has a little more armor, the Wraith. Ooh, I gotta hurry this up. Alright, we got the Scorpion, Shade Turret, which is awesome, Warthogs. Alright, we got the Fault Turret, the Gas Turret, and the all-new Rocket Turret, which shoots five rockets at a time. And then, our old buddy, the Wraith. Pretty cool, alright. I cannot think of anything else, and this vehicle, and now this, this video, this vehicle, this video is just about over, and I am going to shoot you with a Nerf gun.